boxing's a sport to where you better love it or get out of it. And I mean, I'm addicted. Boxing is the first love of my life and probably the only love of my life. You know, I got in that car wreck, I took two years off and it really, you know, it gave me time to reflect. I took a positive out of all this. You know, I sat back and thought about all the things in my life, you know, that uh, I could make better and, and that I could change and, you know, the things that I wanted to change in my boxing career. And it made me realize how much I loved boxing and how much I took it for granted. And, and I got a second chance and I can tell you right now that I'm not a man that takes second chances lightly. That's why I'm back and I'm back with a vengeance. And I'm back to do what I should have did all along. Right now, I had that two years off. I'm looking back, seeing all the right things that I could do now, and you know, we took positive notes, and that's what we're doing now. We are genuinely and honestly doing things the exact right way. We announced Marcus Ramirez as my uh, head trainer now, and if anybody knows anything about Marcus Ramirez, you know, if you don't know him, I, I promise you, Google the kid's name, and you'll know who he is. You know, I can honestly say that my trainer is my best friend, and we have a brutally honest relationship, and, and that's why I'm sitting right here. I'm all sweaty, you know, I'm all broken down right now, but that's because he wants me to succeed, he wants me to win, and he's pushing me to the limit. And, and I, I love it, I'm eating every bit of it up, you know. And this fight, March 31st, is a huge fight. You know, it's, it's baby steps, but at the same time, every single fight matters right now, and I, that's my concept, it's a win, it's win or go home, win or, or retire for good. And you know, I'm too young to retire for good right now, and that's why I have that passion you know, and our motto right now is just, just like my, my, my dog tag says, hard work and dedication, and that's what I'm all about. I'm on cloud nine, man. Nothing right now can tear me down. Uh, I love what I'm doing. I love who's around me. I have the best support from all my fans, all my friends. You know, they're not even my fans. I'm not that cool to have fans. They're my friends. Every single one of them are my friends. And I've got nothing but inspiration through this whole deal. I get text messages. I get voicemails. I, I get Facebook messages every single day leading up to this rooting me on and sending me inspiring words. And I can't tell you, you know, it really chokes me up. I'm a fighter and I'm trying to be mean right now and get, and get ready for battle. But it chokes me up when I think about all these people that say all these nice things about me. I don't even know how I deserve it, but I know that I won't take it for granted. And I know come March 31st, when everybody comes and watches Travis Hartman, they're gonna see a brand new Travis Hartman. I'm still the same at my heart, but finally I'm doing the right things and I'm doing it the right way. And I will succeed and there's no stopping me. Period.